For many, this just seems strange, even a little wrong. A car that can drive itself seems more like science fiction than something we expect to see in our lifetime. But the U.S. government says, that's wrong, you will. People are starting to get a taste of it today, but I would say within uh, the next five years, we're going to be light years beyond where we are today. Right now in cities like Pittsburgh, companies are testing self-driving cars, and companies like Tesla can advertise cars that can drive themselves for short distances. They can do that without the U.S. government having a say. So now government officials are stepping into the industry, kind of, issuing voluntary safety guidelines for companies hoping to produce these cars of the future. The Obama administration doesn't have enough time left to make the guidelines into mandatory rules, but consumer advocates say this is a good start. It's all up for grabs with the new president, with the new administration. This isn't really necessarily going to dictate the future of driverless cars, but what it does mean is when you have a very powerful moneyed robot car lobby that's hired the former top safety uh, officials uh, under the Obama administration, they couldn't ramrod voluntary guidance without public accountability through. So I think it's, it's, it's a good sign for the future. In making the announcement, the Obama administration touted the selling points of self-driving saying it'll save lives. 94% of accidents in the U.S. could be prevented with human error taken out of the equation. It would help the economy. The equivalent of 3% of its GDP is spent on car crashes and the aftermath. Traffic would improve with fewer accidents. And in general, everyone will be less stressed. Average Americans spend 750 hours a year into the car. So these are 750 hours doing nothing except driving. If you can take back part of this time to do something else, it's a huge uh, advantage. It sounds great on paper. On the road, maybe not. Polls show three out of four Americans would be afraid to ride in a self-driving car, meaning the industry has to improve its image and its technology if the American driver is going to agree that this is the car of their future. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.